Hey everyone, Dr. Gale here to talk to you a little bit about how to do URLs properly in documents and things that you are sending out to people. Back in the old days, we would just normally go in and we would paste in our URLs, but we don't want to do that anymore. That is bad. That is not good. We want to go the good route, which means we use descriptive text and we insert the hyperlink onto the descriptive text so that we know what we're talking about. There are three real reasons we want to do this. First, we want to think about ADA considerations and how blind people would end up looking at our sites or our documents. Most of the time that is done through a screen reader and when they get to a URL on a screen reader, it will actually read out the URL if you have typed it in. That's not so bad for something like a HTTPS colon backslash backslash www.npr.org or something like that. But when you start getting the longer ones like say this one up here for a fantasy football guide, that's a lot of stuff for a screen reader to read and that's going to get really confusing to people. So we don't want to do something like that. The second reason we don't want to do that is it just starts looking ugly in the documents. You can have the words here, but once I start pasting in large amounts of URLs, it starts looking crazy. Yes, that URL works, but look at all the text that's in there that we've got to try to format. If I want to do some Legos, I still have URLs aplenty coming out here. And then lastly, let's look at Camtasia tutorial on YouTube on how to make these videos. Again, it just starts looking yucky. It makes the document look like junk. We don't want to do that. A third reason is if you don't have some kind of precursor text in here, it gets really hard to tell what some of these URLs are. So this one's not bad. Week 13 fantasy football ratings, we can kind of tell what that is. But if we fill out this Lego instruction here and don't be descriptive with it, how do we know what we're actually looking up? All it says is building instructions with a number. I don't know what that number is. Do you know what that number is? No, not unless we tell you in descriptive text. Then you've got a Camtasia tutorial here. Again, if we take this out, all we know is we're about to go to a YouTube video. We don't know a YouTube video. Let's use some descriptive text to put that in there. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that in the two most popular uh, word processing tools that we have out there, Microsoft Word and Google Docs. It's easy to do on both of them and it works so much better so here we're going to go ahead and again just kind of copy this and in word all we've got to do is we go up our fantasy football article here you can right click on it if it'll let me actually right click Boop. oh come on you know you want to let me all right and if you don't let me then what we'll just do is go to insert and just take on hyperlink Boop. all right so down here you can paste it if you want uh to have the I have it up here. It's a fantasy football article. I think that one said something like week 13 sleepers. You can get as descriptive as you want. If you want to add a screen tip, feel free to put that text in. It's the equivalent of alternative text on uh, a, word, uh, a website. And basically what it'll do is it'll read that little text um, to them and it will pop up if you kind of hover over what it is. We're not going to worry about that. We're just going to make sure that we have descriptive text. So now I'm going to take this out. And boom, I know I'm about to look at a fantasy football article week 13 sleepers. Now that huge URL right there, again, in Word, if I want to go ahead and edit that hyperlink and I want to do a screen tip here, I can change that to a fan to see football article. I can type it. And when I hit OK, if I hover over it, you'll see now it doesn't have that huge URL. Up to you, not as important, but again, it does help the screen readers out. Secondly, right here, let's go ahead and hyperlink grab you come on we want to make sure we grab that five two at the end and we'll go ahead and go in here and we will right click nope see that right click's not one to work on this one so we'll just go up here and do it the old-fashioned way i guess all right we're going to paste the link in and we'll say this is lego instructions for spider-man drone duel hit okay now let's take out this URL again. It doesn't look very nice in there. And boom, there we go. Now it's starting to make a lot more sense. That's how we do it in um, Word. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at a Google Doc. I'm going to go ahead and paste those in. Remember, we want it to look like this. We want it to look like this. I'm not looking like that. How do we fix that? So let's go ahead and highlight it. And this one, you can right click and the look. The link does work by clicking there. Or you can come up to the top here and click the little link button here. But again, I can't remember. Let's go ahead and highlight and copy that so we know we have the URL. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight over that one. And let's go ahead and link. I'm going to just paste the link in here. Hit apply. Delete this out. And if I hover over it, you can see it will take me to that Camtasia video. So all of these, you can see, boom, it works. It's 
to the link. It just looks so much cleaner, so much more professional. You can get it in there, and the screen re readers love it. So let's stop doing that old way of just pasting in the URLs. Let's start doing it in the new format that works better for everybody, and it'll make things look wonderful. If you guys have any other questions on it, feel free to put it in the comments, or if there's other videos like this that you need to know on how to do things, just go ahead and let us know, and we will be happy to make those for you. Otherwise, put those URLs in correctly, and we look forward to seeing you the next time.